Hi, it's Elizabeth Merrick, and we're going to be taking a look at Jarvis Boss Mode here. You're not going to want to miss this one. Hey, I'm all about sharing what tools are exceeding my expectations and helping with some guidance on how to get the most out of these tools to get them to perform for you. So if you're finding this information helpful, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video. That helps me with the AI with YouTube and helps get this information out to more people as well. So with all the hype that's been going on and all the teasers and the Facebook group from Dave and everyone, what do I think about this new Jarvis boss mode? Mmm, talk about game changer. It is massive. Now, with this increased power comes a little bit of a learning curve again. It's going to take a little bit of practice, a little bit of time, but just like riding a bicycle, once you get the hang of it, it's a massive, massive game changer. Check this out. Let's go ahead and go into the dashboard. So in the new dashboard, you're going to notice this new little icon here, the logo on the upper left. It's the new Jarvis AI icon. They've switched from conversion AI branding to Jarvis. Same company, same talented group of people, but new brand. And we're going to go hop into the boss mode right away. There isn't any button that says, hey, boss mode, you're here. What we're going to do is go directly into a new document and we are going to start from scratch. So something I've learned from my experience from a wide variety of fields, and that is when you're learning a new application or a new process or a new system, break it down into its building blocks, the most simple form, and start working those tools and commands to become familiar with those nuances, and then you can build anything. So first off, we're going to start off with what changed, and that is that with this new Jarvis AI in the boss mode, previously... Jarvis in the long form editor, it only looked back 600 words to rely upon for the context of what was being written. And more often than not, quite frequently, we would get uh, repetitive results and you'd go back and have to change things and whatnot. So now Jarvis is looking back two to 3,000 words for context. So the occurrence of getting repetitive results is a lot better than it used to be. It's a massive improvement. One of the other things that is critical to understanding, and this opens up a huge amount of power and complexity, and that is we get to talk directly to Jarvis now. We can actually enter in commands and also the short codes into this whole area here where we used to just have content and Jarvis is going to respond. Now with this increase of power, also there's an element of a lot of different nuances to control that power to be able to get the best results for you and that's what we're going to be going into in these next few videos and that is how to get Jarvis to perform for you. So the first thing we look at is the navigation panel. What's changed and what's the same? So up here we still have our focus mode and the SEO mode if you've activated Surfer and also the power mode. Those function exactly the same, no worries. On the left here, we have the title input, content description brief, keywords, and the output length. These function exactly as they did before with one caveat, and that is that in order for these inputs to affect the output over here on the right, you're going to have to activate it by one of two methods. Either hit the compose button right here on the lower left, or as a command on top of the document panel here, you can hit Control J or Command J, depending on if you're on a Windows machine or a Mac. One additional change, and that is on the pro tips here on the right, it's really handy now to have information on the commands to use Jarvis in boss mode. You've got some training, cheat sheets, some shortcuts, and the short codes all right here, just to click away to reference whenever you want. We're going to go ahead and close that up, and we're ready to go. Okay, going into this, we're going to start at the most basic building block, and that is the short codes. The good news is, if you use a long form assistant in the past, they're exactly the same. Nothing's changed. So in front of each header, we're going to want to have the double hashtag. And what that does is it tells Jarvis that we want him to write specifically about the topic after the double hashtag. The other short code is the three asterisks. And this is really cool because what this does is it essentially tells Jarvis to don't look at any of the content above the three asterisks in order for its output to have context 
of what's after the three asterisks. So above the three asterisks, blinders are on. Below the three asterisks, that's what Jarvis is going to look at for the output context of what he's going to write next. Now we're going to start looking at the commands for the Jarvis boss mode, and this is where the magic really starts to happen. First of all, let's establish, some people were confused, is it command, is it control? It simply depends on what platform you're running. If you're using a Mac, it's command key. If you're using a PC, it's a control key, but we're going to use these interchangeably. And for our purposes, we're just going to call it command from here on out. So the command enter, basically it's telling Jarvis to run the command that you've just typed. Now you want to keep your cursor at the end of the sentence. If you hit enter and put a space in between there, Jarvis is not going to know what you're talking about. You're not going to get the results that you're looking for. So for now, until things are updated or changed, just keep the cursor at the end of the sentence and then go ahead and hit command enter to tell Jarvis to go do his magic. Now, same exact command, same exact output, but if you don't want Jarvis to overwrite the command that he's just executed, then go ahead and add the shift key. So instead of command plus enter, it's going to be command plus shift plus enter. And in that way, you'll keep your original command on the screen so you can use it for a reference. For example, in the template, sometimes you want like three outputs or you can change to however many outputs that you want. If you want to run this same output, I'm sorry, if you want to run the same input multiple times to see what Jarvis's output will do, how it will change, you might want to keep that original command on the screen so he can reference it. Or you might want to tweak a word or two in the command as well. But these commands are not only designed for you to talk directly to Jarvis, but you can also access all 50 some odd templates that Jarvis has as well. So keep in mind, now that we can talk directly to Jarvis, there is a limit as to how much he can handle, and that is it's a 200 character limit in those commands. If you surpass that, you're going to get a warning indicator and you're going to have to trim down your command a little bit. And the next two commands, they're pretty straightforward. You've got command plus forward slash, and I've had some of my clients say hit command plus and the screen will get bigger type of thing. And it's like, why is it getting bigger? Why is it magnifying? It's not command plus that you're supposed to be typing in. It's command and the forward slash to access the command for rerun. That means go ahead and rerun that last command again. Again, if you like multiple outputs to see what Jarvis will do, this is a shortcut to get that effect. And command Z is simply an undo. Very handy to know. And then we get to command J. And this is very important that you recognize that command J is the compose button. It's the exact same process as what's happening down here when you hit control J or command J. <laughs> so one more nuance about the boss mode that's really cool. And that is previously with the compose button, sometimes it would be grayed out and you'd have to type a little bit before it would turn blue and active. And it didn't matter what you typed, you could type gibberish <laughs> and it would become active after enough characters were into the system. But now compose button, it's unlocked. You can access it whenever you like without any restriction. <laughs> so there's a breakdown of the new boss mode commands with Jarvis. This is the language that he uses to communicate with, and the better you can master these commands and shortcodes, the better you're going to get in terms of performance and get Jarvis to perform for you. So follow along in this next video. We're going to actually break down some of these commands and codes and show some of the variant outputs that we get. You're not going to want to miss it. Mm -hmm.